Hey everybody, Dr. Strong here, and I just wanted to do a video about thyroid and kind of misconceptions about thyroid and really what's going on when people start having like hypothyroid issues or if they start experiencing, you know, fatigue or if their doctor says that it's a thyroid problem, but maybe it's not and they're taking, you know, these medications like levothyroxine or Synthroid and they're not really getting any relief from them. And it's because the, the thyroid isn't the main problem. Uh, the main problem is, as, we'll ex as I'll explain, in this graph is actually from a cortisol issue from the adrenal cortex okay so i know that this looks super complicated but i'm going to break it down because it's really simple but this is called your hpa and hpt axes and that stands for hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis and the hypothalamic pituitary thyroid axis okay so let's start over here on the left. So the HPA axis, if you look at this, the hypothalamus secretes these hormones. I'm not going to say the names because they're super long and they don't really matter. But hypothalamus tells the pituitary to secrete uh, this these hormones. And then the adrenal cortex, the one that we're really concerned about, if you look at the bottom left, is called a glucocorticoid and it's called cortisol, okay? And cortisol, basically what it is, it's your stress hormone and it's responsible for balancing your blood sugar. It's responsible for um, basically giving your muscles the ability to either run away from the tiger or fight the tiger. Okay, so today the tiger could be, it could be, uh, you know, something you see on social media. It could be you driving a 2000 pound vehicle 70 miles down the interstate down the road um, on the interstate it could be that state trooper behind you it could be your kids yelling it could be your husband it could be anything uh, just a stressful event that we perceive as stressful so what happens is you secrete cortisol and then if you follow the little dotted line to the right and then it says inhibition in the middle of it and then it also goes over there uh, to where you see T3. Okay, now this is your active form of your thyroid hormone. So this is what regulates your metabolism. So if you're feeling sluggish, if you're feeling tired, fatigued, uh, if you start losing your hair, uh, kind of like all of these uh, thyroid issues that we see commonly today, then basically what is happening is that you're secreting cortisol and it's inhibiting your active form of thyroid hormone. Okay, so it's inhibiting your T3. So if you have elevated, if you have enough T4, but you don't have enough T3, this is one of the reasons that that could be the issue. Okay, and then if you look up here and you follow, if we go back to cortisol, we go up and to the right, you can see that it will also inhibit your TA, TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone, which then inadvertently inhibits your thyroid, so you can't make T4, so you can make T3. So what can we say from this? Well, basically what we can say is that if you're inhibiting your thyroid stimulating hormone, then you're going to have low levels of T4, T3. Uh, you're going to have low levels of TSE, TSH, right? So what we can see here is that this can cause um, a conglomerate of issues that we may perceive as a thyroid issue, but it's not really addressing the root cause because if we trace it back to these cortisol patterns or the hormone cortisol, we can see that that's actually the culprit going in. Okay, now uh, the last thing I really want to talk about is that if you look over here on the far right, there's the 5 deadenase uh, enzyme, and that's primarily found in the liver and kidneys. Now, why is this important? Most people don't know that 60% of your uh, metabolically inactive T4 is converted to metabolically active T3 in the liver. Okay, so the, the majority of your... Uh, thyroid hormone actually isn't converted in the thyroid it's actually converted in the liver so why does this matter well if you are overly toxic then what will happen is that you actually won't convert um, the t4 to the t3 because whether you're exposed to like heavy metals a bacteria a virus uh, 
loads of sugar or other free radicals, then basically what's going to happen is that your liver is going to go through these detoxification pathways. And those are going to take priority over your hormonal balance. So you're constantly uh, detoxifying yourself uh, rather than producing these hormones because it's like we've got to get these toxins out. We've got to overload. So imagine that you have a backup of trash and it's really starting to stink. Uh, you're not so you're not worried about like losing fat. You're not worried about uh, sex hormonal regulation or reproducing. You're just worried about getting the trash out because it stinks so bad. Okay, and that's kind of the best analogy that I can use. So you start sacrificing all these sex hormonal pathways, which are converted in the liver as well. So then you get low libido. You'll get hot flashes. You'll get all these hormonal issues that seem to go uh, along with um, just kind of like these thyroid imbalances or these sex hormonal imbalances. Okay, so I just wanted to make this real short video. Uh, hopefully you found this useful and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.